so uh, my wife and I, we live in this wee little apartment at 600 square feet. I have a two and a half year old daughter, love her like crazy, and a nine months old son, love him like crazy too. So everybody was asleep last night, except for me. It's like 11 o'clock and uh, the fire alarm goes off. And so it is so loud. And like just a month ago, Somebody actually set a unit on fire and evacuated the whole thing, ran over water damage on like 10 units. So anyways, we're a little bit like, okay, this is not a drill, we gotta go. Got out of the place, false alarm, thank goodness. Got everybody back in, da -da -da -da. finally get back to sleep and then, and then my son wakes up at five o'clock, he keeps doing that, hey? Just crying and crying. So anyways, guys, long story short, grateful I'm alive and another day here to be with you. Feeling it today, you know? It's kind of hard. I don't know if you have that too, where it's like um, you mentally are there and you want to go. <laughs> yes, I am. You're mentally there and you want to go, but your body's like tired and sluggish and you're like, come on, go, 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 and it doesn't go. So anyways, that, that's going to be today a little bit, which is unfortunate. It's always hard to see, see that. But nevertheless, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I do appreciate you being here. Let's see what we can do on that. Uh, a buck and wood bullet, hey? Let's get her done. So uh, we got lots of uh, lots of jam here. Look at that. Look at that. Everything's there, and I got lots of room to go. So really, I'm I'm not too worked up about the size of the blade and stuff because this is where the difference is in the weight. This is where I believe I went wrong. Look, you can see it right away. This is like inch and a quarter and this is inch and a half. Look at the size difference. That's gonna scrub me that extra pound or so. I am gonna make her just a little bit longer because we are a little bit short, but we're laughing. So I'm gonna trim this thing up and then reforge it, get it to where it needs to be. And I think she's gonna be right on the button. Oh, didn't bring my scale, shoot. Oh, that's really bad. Marzen and I were just talking through, these are gonna be all Hudson Bay axes and then those are gonna be Blackhawks. These are the billets the 1913 train rail made up. So we're just doing some readjustments on the size. I know I've been mentioning that to you. So this is the first one with the, the eye put into it. We're just playing around some tooling and stuff like that. So Martin's gonna start going on that. I'm gonna try to finish up this wood bullet. where we're at here after the cut job. Got tons of meat up at the front and that's longer than I need to be. So it's gonna get way longer, we don't care. So I'm gonna stick it in the forge now, start working the blade. And I also, I didn't tell you this, I got a little secret up my sleeve. I left more steel at the very back here so that if I need to tune in some weight stuff, I could just grind a little bit of weight. This is where doing the one-offs is sort of painful. In a production run, you can set up trimmers and get your material lengths all figured out. 
so you don't have to play this kind of back and forth game on the front because now I'm going to have to let it cool off, trim it, and then we'll come back and do the final forging on it, hopefully get it cleaned up. But everything's looking good. I've got lots of, lots of everything where I need it, so that's really, really good. That's a rough grind. I'm really happy with everything at this point. It's still got lots of juice everywhere. So I'm gonna stick it back in the forge, do the final forging hopefully, and then get into grinding it. like there could be a little bit too much material still in the profile here. She feels thick. So far though, this bigger batter buck and wood bullet is looking pretty sweet. Wouldn't you say Martin? Wouldn't you say? There you have it folks. So I'm just out back here again because Martin's working away there. It's hard to talk. So basically at this point, I have ground the angle. I guess that's the way to say it. The blade angle in here. And uh, I'm okay with that. I It's definitely fatter than the last one, but that's because it's so much fatter back here. You know, it should be should be inch and a half. We're just a little bit over. That might even be too fat. Yikes, Tim, it feels so heavy. It's so dumb that I forgot my scale today. I'll, I'll grind it all up and then we'll weigh it tomorrow before I do the heat treat. That's f I, almost one and five eighths. And then I also, again, have given myself some room. You know, we're looking, looking at about three and a half from the front of the eye and I'm at about three and three quarter I just wanted a little bit I also was wondering if that wouldn't feel okay for how the axe handles because the back is so much heavier I've got a lot of meat back here if I take off some here I can just take some off the front too right so I'm gonna start grinding the contour on it we're gonna come in here and clean all this up get that angle on it and then we'll grind the back and at that point we're ready to do the heat treat so we'll probably wait to do that tomorrow so that I can confirm my weight on this, tune it in, and then we're ready to go. So we're coming, we're coming. So I am ready, I believe, for the heat treat except I'm pretty sure this is gonna be actually too heavy. It feels like that. I've got so much material in there, which is awesome. Definitely don't wanna be looking for it, wanna be looking at it. This is the one, so you can just see for comparison. I don't know why that looks so much longer. It is a little bit longer. This is riding at, yeah, just a little bit over inch and a half, inch and a quarter. And then also in the back here, right? A little bit shorter. You know, that's a quarter inch drop there. So I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, a little bit proud. Which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked about that. 
I can't wait to put this on this scale and see. It's so too bad I didn't bring it. That's gotta be, it's for sure a pound heavier. For sure. Put in your wagers for how heavy this bad boy is gonna be on the scale tomorrow. We'll weigh it right in the morning. Gotta do any adjustments, we'll go from there. And I honestly believe we can get this thing done tomorrow. Merch is on sale for two more days, 10% off if you use promo code NOTCOLD at checkout. Got a couple more axes still available on pre-order for the end of this month. Thank you again to everybody who has jumped on the pre-order. Thank you so much. And as always, I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.